the start of time there lived in the sky the sun, the moon and a cloud named Kumo. Everyone living on earth knew that the sun was a man and the moon was a woman, but all clouds remained a mystery. The moon first caught a glimpse of the sun on her way to work one evening. He's so handsome, Kumo! But Kumo could only scowl as it thought to itself. There's no way she can go for him. He's not ever her type. He's all bright and shiny, while the moon is deep and serene. It will never work. From then on, the moon roamed the skies for hours in search of the sun. Kumo would bring along raindrops, and on those nights the moon couldn't see anything at all. She grew thinner and thinner as she pined away for the sun. Kumo couldn't help itself, it had to interfere. Look, you and I both know he's not right for you. You aren't even the same kind of celestial being. Just be glad you never had the chance to get to know him. The sun and the moon simply can't mix. Cut your losses and move on. The moon felt very heavy after her talk with Kumo and she began to brood falling into a deep depression. She started to realize that perhaps she would never get a chance with the sun after all. One night she met a star. Star, you twinkle so brightly, but I can't imagine what for. I can't find the sun anywhere. Life is too hard when you are all alone. The wise old star smiled. Actually, darling, I think you are too comfortable there on Earth. Sometimes the only way to get what you want is to step out of your comfort zone. Try life in the universe. Moon gathered her courage and jumped into space. The sky was dark for many nights after and Kumo didn't know what to think. He waited angrily in the dark. Once outside the Earth's atmosphere, Moon was able to see things differently. She realized that although life on Earth was good, she had outgrown it. She could also see that Sun had been around all along, for he too had made the journey from Earth to outer space. The moon also found that she immediately got her strength back in her new environment and boldly made the journey around the earth to the other side to speak to Sun. Being a man of few words, Sun could do nothing but smile as the moon told a story of her journey to the atmosphere. So, you see, there's nothing more important than friends. Will you be my friend? Sun simply replied by embracing moon. Kumo had gotten wind of the whole thing from one of the stars and stood angrily as everyone on Earth witnessed Sun and Moon's embrace in space. It screamed and shouted and rained heavily onto the people of Earth to hide what was happening in the sky. It carried on for weeks. Just when the people on Earth were considering whether to build a boat to survive the flooding, Kumo abruptly stopped its temper tantrum. to move on. In the light of Kumo's self-discovery, it created a rainbow out of all the good thoughts it now had for sun and moon. It sprinkled a fine mist of defeated tears over its work. In return, sun and moon agreed to keep eclipses to a minimum. On sun nights, however, moon leaves the sky to visit sun and can even be seen with him during the day. Rainbows form whenever Kumo gets fed up with watching the two of them.